everybody, our next comedian coming from the stage is a very funny lady, comes from far, far away, straight from the Netherlands. Put your hands up for Miss Allison Wise. <laughs> I recently went through menopause. <laughs> with all the symptoms. My whole life, people had been telling me that I looked like my father, and I could see that it was true. <laughs> Once I started growing a beard. <laughs> I became really, really unphotogenic. <laughs> Every picture taken of me now looks like a before. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't all bad. One of the symptoms of menopause is insomnia. And staying up all night gave me so much more time to complain. <laughs> and I, I saved a lot of time. I mean, every time I coughed or sneezed, I saved a trip to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom, I promise I'd keep the, the act dry. <laughs> and the, the mood swings were, were severe. My doctor had to put me on an aggressive six-month course of chocolate replacement therapy. <laughs> and I was crabby. But that was great. There's no doubt any more in my family who's in charge of the remote control. <laughs> my husband snores. Keeps me up all night. I finally got him to go to the sleep doctor, and he said he had sleep acne and it could be fatal. <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, we spend 30% of our lives asleep, but we choose our partner based solely on their behavior while they're awake. <laughs> Are there any dating sites out there that include a sleep profile? <laughs> My husband is a tall, really good-looking guy, but this... <laughs> is not a turn on. <laughs> not a lot of people talk about snoring. And, you know, there's not a lot written about it. We just celebrated Passover, and God has to send 10 plagues to Egypt before the Pharaoh lets the Jews go. He didn't need 10. He could have done it in one. <laughs> snoring. <laughs> snoring is really bad for marriages, and it's a major cause of divorce. I mean, every night I'm in a ferocious fight with someone who's agreeing with me. <laughs> turn over. Okay. <laughs> now turn over the other way. All right. All right. My God, how can you make so much noise? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm in a one-way all night fight with someone who agrees with everything I say. The only thing you won't agree to do is stop snoring. Thank you. One of the scandals at Guantanamo is when we discovered we had been sleep depriving these guys for four or five days. What about 25 fucking years? What does the Geneva Convention have to say about that? Where are the demonstrations? Where's the UN? I've got post-traumatic snore disorder. I've been living in my own bedroom for three years, and I swear I can still hear my husband snoring. Wherever I go, I can hear the guy snoring. I can hear him now. When I die, I've got one special request. That my husband be buried on his side. <laughs> you know what I hate? I hate the fact that everyone seems to know that cameras add 10 pounds, but no one seems to realize that standing up here and performing live adds 40. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a great